Welcome back to Let's Play Skullgirls! Boop, boop. Robo Fortune! The Skull Heart is connected to a large underground structure, going deeper behind enemy lines. Wait for further report. If this is true, it may be key in finally ending our long struggle. But how do I know I can still trust you, Valentine? Well, that settles that. What else does she expect us to believe? In the meantime, encountered the feral Ms. Fortune. Unlocking the secrets to her abilities is sure to revolutionize bioweapons. Identify yourself. I am more than a robot. Except, not really. Playing off air. Do 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 do. No, none of that. Just state your name and objective. Dramatic pause. I am Robo Fortune, created to destroy the Skull Girl, as well as all who get in Lab Zero's way. Can I having been acquired a cheeseburger? Uh, I suppose this will have to suffice. Now, get out there and execute your mission. I'm going back to the drawing board to think about where I went wrong. Beep boop. Plot shields operating at maximum. I will not fail, barring control unit apathy. Crash and burn. If you see Pain Wheel, tell her I'm sick of her ignoring my messages. Mode possibly not canon deep boop. Well, I don't know who Suze is really, but hers is probably. <laughs> I know if uh, he has like Marvel shit up in here with the beams. Oh dear. Oh no, he's pushing my shit in actually. That's what that shit's supposed to be done. Oh god. How about this? Ozotron laser. That's Magneto's cross up there, that thing. <laughs> Iris, beep boop. Jesus Christ. Well, hey, it's not a cutscene after every friggin' battle. That Beowulf took. Oof, that was like 40 minutes long. <laughs> the longest one so far. But these things are getting longer and longer, so... Looks like they kind of went back to the old status quo with her and made her a little more... Like that one, last one took too long. I have to move my head. Oh no, it just... Oh, what do I got here? Oh, good lord. Let's 
sure what the kids do exactly though, but they're there. I will battle you as many times as it is necessary. Do not talk to me or my daughters ever again, people. Let's do this in one take. Showtime. That looks familiar too. I think it's a global guy's laser eye or something. Damn, why is everyone pushing my shit all of a sudden? Trying to figure shit out. I'm getting comboed in the corner. My shit's gone. Alright, staying back in boom if we're gonna be like that. Yeah, you're just gonna take a while to get out. Ugh. No time to pussyfoot around, beep boop. I can't resist. This battle is all in the mind. Action! There's Stanley back here. He's the guy that told you, hey, we gotta get And Hive. I can only have three heads out at a time. Mm. There's like a level three version of the boom and a level four. Five, if you can believe it. They did a lot of the mission mode. I almost finished most of it, actually. Barring a couple of fights. Why are you attacking me? We're on the same side. Beep boop meow. I am sorry, but my creator really wanted to prove that he could do better than... Quote... That stupid cat in those dumb drawings. End quote. Of all the petty, ridiculous... He has also labeled you a traitor. What? This is what I get for trying to save Christmas? <sighs> well, label me gone because I quit. I hope Brain Drain's paranoia comes back to bite him. Beep boop. Probability of future ironic twist rising. I am beginning to question my creator and his methods. You could always turn to religion for answers at the Grand Cathedral. I recommend taking the train and enjoying the city's sights while you soul search. That sounds uncannily appropriate. Proceeding with conveniently placed advice. I will battle you as many times as it is necessary. And suddenly you're fighting on top of the train. Oh, well, new stage is new stage. This is a good one too. Fighting on train back or whatever. Is that Boris Kuhn? Yo! I wasn't expecting Waku Waku 7 Galaxy Fight cameo. Who's that guy next to him? Holy shit! I mean, that could be any what you call. Like, Boris Kuhn is not a. Looks like he put on weight since he was. I think I had Galaxy Fight for the PlayStation 3. Man, that AI on that is fucking nuts. I couldn't get past stage 1 on that one. I was like, really. I think it's out in Japan on PSN on PS4 as well, so that'll probably come up soon. Hope we get Waku Waku 7. I like that better. Maybe that one's got the little easier AI. Okay then. <laughs> Took me for a ride with the Beowulf story. Now it's just. Jeez. Wow, you have a. Oh, wow, look at that dash. Hey, you get the magnet hand or whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's command for the missiles. Here we go. Boing. Up. Let's get three of them out there. 
No, that's that move. Uh, uh, here we go. It's like Dr. Doom move with the missiles. Beam. Beep boop. Initiating unprovoked dialogue with designated adversary. Most flesh bags can choose their own purpose while I am trapped within my program parameters. I am not even sure if my creator was thinking straight. Can the skull heart grant my desire to shed these flawed constraints? I accepted the skull heart in hopes of challenging a world run through with corruption. But it is part of an even greater monster that binds me to its will. The only purpose of this so-called artifact is to spread death. Even if it proves compatible with that mechanical body, you would sooner corrupt your wish than fulfill it. What am I fighting for? Also, did you just give away a major plot point? Don't worry, nobody will think any of this nonsense is canon. Now, let us act out our existential angst as this genre demands, in an ostentatious final boss battle. Curse this beautifully tragic destiny, beep boop meow. My machine heart is filled with sorrow and hype. Okay, now I'm glad I'm getting to end this series. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> ostentatious boss fight comments. He has some kind of super armor, beep boop. It is stronger than my metallic body for whatever reason. What am I doing? I got a projectile. What the fuck am I? This ain't Beowulf, you know. Close to that thing. Let that come about. There we go. Make sure I get the skull out and not get interrupted. Oh, now shit's gonna get crazy. Go nuts! Now I may have to get in. Nope. Take it! Take her down? No. Not yet. Oh dear. That was. Oof. Nice back to those. Also. She still has it. Oh no! Damn it! Can you do me like this? Not when I was that close. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. This way, it's harder a little better. Just more annoying in this sense. Not necessarily harder. Just doing more shit. How about this. There we go. Pull on the damage. Beep Interrupted most of it. That's all I'll do. Are you transitioning? Nope. Wrong button. Back up. Nope. Do the missiles. There we go. Are you getting too close? Beam! There we go. Missiles were wrecking your shit. No matter what wish is made, the tragedy of the Skull Heart will be repeated. Destroying the Skull Heart only resets the seven year cycle. Luckily, my creator's plans have taken this into account. Oh? Are, Are you sure his flawed human decision making won't ruin anything along the way? Retrieving objective and returning to lab. This should be interesting.
creator, I have apprehended the power source. You succeeded? I mean, of course you did. I built you after all. Never sent an organic to do a machine's job. Beep boop, your brain is organic and has the most important job of... Moving on, at last. We can construct the next generation of machine, a new form that will surpass our own. Brain Drain's gruesome experiments, powered by the Skull Heart itself, gave rise to a new threat. Without a Skull Girl to hunt, Robo Fortune and her successors concluded human fallibility was the next threat that had to be heard. Nobody was safe. No! Annie, where are you going? Umbrella, we have to go now! Annie, we can't fight this many! Doc's got a point there. Then let's do our darn best to slow them down! Increase in sodium chloride detected. Relieving blood pressure via cutting lasers. It is for your own good. Eat boop meow. Did they just do our job for us? Yes. Yes, they did. High five! And it's all fun and games till the robot becomes massive and kills all the humans. And for the last time, show me your color parameters, beep boop. Beep boop meow. There we go. <laughs> Alright, what do you got here? Not all blue option, that looks pretty good. Hmm, that could be something too. Looks like you get like a tool belt on that one now. Uh, could that be Makoto? Hmm, the pink. Kinda looks like uh, the cover of NES Pinbot. Or is it like Bride of Pinbot? Is that what is that supposed to be? All gold everything, Robo Fortune. All green everything. Black and red. Silver kind of look like the metallic cats from SWAT cats. That'd be a cool uh, look. <laughs> That'd be a nice pull. Whatever that's probably supposed to be. Hmm. Oh, I guess yes. <laughs> of course. Burn my bread. Oh. Uh, Iron Man. Yeah, just straight up. With the red and yellow. I was like, hmm. Oh, that's probably something from someone from somewhere. I can't... Ugh. Nice drawing a blank on that one. Uh, Sailor Moon? Is that an echo? It's a Gundam! Hmm. Is that the pink tail? That's weird. You got the gold on there. Oh, uh, Ghost in the Shell? Uh, Raggedy Ann or Raggedy Ann with the red and the... He look really constructy. There's Samus. Okay. That's what I thought the earlier color was. There's another Samus Zero suit. Hmm. Oh shit, what's that one? Hmm. That's probably something. Maybe Xenosaga, I'm thinking. I don't know. Not sure that one. Well, that's an interesting color. 22. Or purple with the witcher color. Oh. <laughs> Just straight up. <laughs> Familiar too. Hmm. I was looking to see if one of them would be like a samurai pizza cat, like with the armor and everything. Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Beep up, meow. And with that, concludes Skullgirls. I have something uh different in mind for the coming weekends. Stay tuned for that. But until then, take care. Thanks for watching.